assisted by a higher intelligentsia, they tell the public in endless loops and variations that as in Alice's Wonderland, nothing is what it seems. I quote from that book, when I use a word, Humpty Dumpty said in a rather, conf in a rather a scornful tone, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. The question is, said Alice, whether you can make words mean so many different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master, that's all. And it is politicians who are the masters and who stipulate that aggression, invasion, murder and war are actually self-defense, whereas self-defense is aggression, invasion, murder and war. Freedom is coercion and coercion is freedom. Saving and investment are consumption and consumption is saving and investment. Money is paper and paper is money. Taxes are voluntary payments and voluntarily paid prices are exploitative taxes. Contracts are no contracts and no contracts are contracts. Expropriation is restitution and restitution is expropriation. Indeed, what we can see, hear or otherwise sense does not exist and that which we cannot see, hear or otherwise sense does. The normal is anormal and the anormal is normal. Black is white and white is black, male is female and female is male. Worse, the overwhelming majority of the public, far exceeding even the number of state dependents, falls for this nonsense. Politicians are not despised and ridiculed, but held in high esteem, applauded, admired and even glorified by the masses. In their presence and in particular in the presence of top people, most people show themselves awestruck, submissive and servile. Indeed, even those opposing or denouncing one particular politician or party do so almost always only to propose or hail yet another different but equally absurd and confusion, confused politician or party. And the intelligentsia, which finds its own verbal mumbo jumbo echoed in the blabberings of this or that politician or political party, virtually drools over them. And on the other hand, the number of those who still hold on to the principles of natural law and justice as a basis of all moral judgment and who assess the contemporary world accordingly as some sort of absurdistan, that is, as an asi insane asylum run by crazed megalomaniacs, makes up no more today than a minuscule minority of the population, smaller in size even than the infamous 1% of the super rich of leftist fame, but with little overlap with this 1%. And Tinia still is a minority of those who recognize also, however vaguely, the systematic cause of this outcome. And all of these, that is, the few sane people left within the asylum, these people are then under constant threat by the guardians and wardens of this absurdistan called democracy and are branded as Neanderthals, reactionaries, extremists, pre-enlightenment, dum-dums, sociopaths or even scum. Which brings me to the property and freedom society. 